Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. So, after a bit of messing around and decided we are probably going to go with the Moonveil. So, uh, that means stat-wise uh, I'm going to have to start targeting dex and strength. I need an additional 6 points in dex because we need 18 dex. We don't actually need strength when I think about it, uh, but we could put one point in there and then we can actually use the Uchikatana as well. Um, and maybe even use that on the way to getting it. And actually have the ability to deal with them as well if we want to. So that is where my next few points are going to go. Um, probably going to pile into decks the most as we as we go through here. Um, I can't remember what the boss is in this area is now. Digger's staff. I'm not. I don't think I've had that staff dropped for me before. We have to grab this. Let me get my notes up here. Let's not test us right. This is going to be cave. Head down left, drop off some crystals. Yeah, we did that. So, uh, further down, sombra stones in the chest. There we go. Uh, down second left. Clear way to opening right has two level three stones. Okay. I haven't given myself much in the web notes. <laughs> I guess that means most of this is going to be straightforward. So, let's make our way through. Uh, I know the boss is the crystal boss, and that is probably going to be painful for me. Oh, I should have equipped the meteorite right spell because that would have been useful. It's okay, maybe we'll use the, uh, the Glintstone Greatsword again, because it seemed to do pretty good. I'm gonna deal with this. Is that another digger star? I didn't get one in my entirety of the coming through here in the, in the, on my last character. And now I've had like two. It's kind of hilarious. We don't want to give these too much chance to um, start waiting on us, because obviously they're not particularly nice. I don't remember going across here, but I've seen that we can now, so we're going to. I think this is the area where there's like a bit where we jump across. Oh man. We're gonna die on these jumps. This best be good loot. <laughs> I definitely don't remember doing it. Oh man. Nope. Oh my god, that is a really bad jump. <laughs> okay, so after having made the jump. Uh, so basically, you just have to try and aim for. I'm not doing. I'm not going to do it again. But there's a plank that looks like it slightly comes off the edge. Look, you have to aim for that, and then there's like a bit that's just over here, and that gets you across. Hopefully, I don't die on this next bit. Now. Oh, <laughs> this is just crazy! I can't believe some of the platforming they put in here. So we're going to take a run, run jump. We're going to try and aim for that. There we go. So I'm and three. That's actually pretty important. We're going to want that, especially with the moon ring, because it allows us to get straight to level three when we get it. And then if I just search up whether there's a, a four and a five, we'll be nice and overpowered, ready for uh, some of the zones around here, which is good. But anyway, moving on. I can't believe I didn't see that before. You can't use this yet. This is a shortcut for the down below. And then we can move our way through the cave. I just kind of like forgetting the Maybe we'll get it next episode, and we'll go ahead and get the um, get the resistance elements tells me while we're at it. Which is all in the uh, all in the same zone in Caleb, so that should probably be make for a good a good little thing. We've also got some cleanup to do, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that all together. I think it's probably a couple of episodes kind of out of Leonia. This place is massive, though, so like maybe it's nice to get a break from it. Do something else, maybe somewhere else. I don't know. Can you not do that? We don't even have our magic defense shield yet. Either. I and mean, we're not going to have that for a while. <laughs> Basically at the end of the zone where all the magic damage is. Door of rune, thank you. I'm really gathering those up. I've got so many. When it finally comes to using them, someone's going to be like, Hey, you can't do that. And I'm like, but I've just saved them all in the game. It's going to make for a rather nice chunk, I reckon. Mm. There's no really big ones there, though. Not yet. That's still not cool. Uh, there's bound to drop off here. There we go. Oh, we need to get better right notes so I know exactly where everything is. We at least have been through before, right? We have done it before. Yeah. 
That was someone who's doing that I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, it is that bit. This is a bit that I remember. Down there. And we need to be like, when we go through the door, we want to be like on the left because there's a couple of like ranged enemies in there. Want to knock us off while we're trying to get across the beam. Now that just is not going to be pleasant for us. So we want to make sure that that doesn't occur. And I'll send this back up because there's a lot of ways to get knocked off here. So just be careful. Out left here. And deal with you. It's these guys that you see across there. We can aggro quite far and they'll try knocking us off. We ain't about that life at all. Oh no! Yeah, it's a good one. It's just stupid. Yaw! Thank you. So my next few levels are probably going to feel quite ineffectual, which is a shame. But it'll be worth it in the end. I did want to get that extra bit of health. <laughs> no respecking. We're not doing any respecking anytime soon. Especially if we've got to defeat the next big boss for it anyway. And this is the shortcut back up. So where we saw the level on the way back in originally, that's where that's gone to. So if we do die, we now have easier access back to this point specifically. Oh, I remember this bit. I was say, yeah. There's a few of the, uh, the ranged ones around here, and we have to be real careful because they are a nightmare. Oh my god. Do you have to... There you are. New in. Not giving you any mercy. Don't deserve it. <laughs> These ranged enemies are a pain in the ass. Right. There's something else in here as well. Where is it? I'm sure there is. Nice smithing stones. Times three is pretty good. There's one of the flying things in here. Um, where is it? There's like a mechanical gargoyle thing. I can't see it now. That's worrying me. I'm sure there is. Could just be imagining things, but. Not out of magic on this specific one. Oh, you just eat Just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy enemy animations there. This one. Here it is. I knew there was one. Where was you? Oh, no, no. It's not still not what I thought it was. I got rid of that. Just as bad as crazy. Can we get you through that? <laughs> that one too silly. I mean, to be fair, once you're close to these ones, these ones aren't so bad. Eight minutes into the video. I guess this is a longer tunnel. Um, what are you? That one's a bit tougher. What are you? Arc these because they don't like it when you start trying to nick the crystals off of them. And there's lots of nice uh, good stones right there. We're back to got three. Oh, there's one No, sir. No, 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 Give me all of your goodies. I want to have all the upgrade material. Shit. 
shatter earth. I don't think I've used that. <laughs> I knew it was there and I still didn't do it. I'm so bad. There's the boss there. It's fine. We're almost there. It's only some rings down. Some rings down three though. Yes. Two of those. It means you can upgrade two special weapons. That was very close to dangerous. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, we're going to abuse the fact that there is a... No, there isn't a shiny marker. Well, that's not fair. Well, I guess we'll just see how we go. Um, if this is the boss that I think it is, uh, the trick is you'll attack it loads and it won't take any damage until its crystal breaks and then it'll be basically nothing. So, that's what we're going to do. Okay, it's just one. So it should not be the worst. It's not great, it shouldn't be worst. <laughs> so you've just got to wait for it to take some damage. Just got to break it, you just got to break it. Pierce damage is the best, I believe. And you'll, you'll notice the difference immediately when it's actually starting to shatter because um, you'll be able to stun lock it. Like, it's going to be a nothing loss once we've broken its arm down. There we go. That means it's shattered. And even with like, a terrible short sword like mine. Doesn't doesn't matter. And we get the smithing stone miner's bell bearing. Nice. I believe that basically gives us some upgrade stones that we can purchase from the round table merchant, which is good. So back up top then. I haven't technically rested because I couldn't be. I didn't really want to go and rest. So instead, we should have, yeah, there's a Site of Grace uh, right here. We shouldn't really get into too much trouble getting over there. So we're just going to nip over. On the way, there should be a an upgrade stone. I think it's a Sunring Stone 3 or 2, something of that description. Um, on the way over, this one's actually a bell. So when we get to uh, multiplying boss souls, it's going to be useful for us. Where is it? It should be a... Should be a shiny around here. There we are. It's missing stone free. We'll take that. And then, yeah, we're on to the other end of that island. Probably a little bit crazy now. This room cargo. Then we'll go ahead and solve the tower, which isn't too bad. One of them is very sneaky. In fact, two of them are quite sneaky. One of them is really obvious. Two of them are very sneaky. That's it. We've got a turtle hanging on a tree and a turtle hanging off a cliff. It's all I'm going to say. Go and deal with the dragon. Get some extra runage in the go. So we're gonna head up this way. Um, when we activate the tower, it's going to spawn a load of like spirit enemies, which I didn't think there was very much point in fighting. In fact, I don't even think they drop anything. 
Really? It's sink through eyes, beast. So one of them is quite obvious, where was it? One of them is quite obviously on the ground. And funnily enough, that's the one I can't remember. There's one up in the trees. But just there. There's one I don't think I can get the map up. I can get the map up. Like kind of around the southern end of the cliffs. Just there. Sneaky boy. Now I can't remember where the third easy one is. <laughs> I didn't make a note of the third one because I thought it was easy. I wasn't that foolish. Let's see if these are worth any rooms at least. Oh, you do get runes out of them at least. It's okay. They just come back there. So there's really no, no reason. And where's the third one? The third one was really... Right, give me a second, I'm going to have to check for it now. Okay then, so third turtle then. If I pull the map up, I can't pull the map up. But hopefully when I do this, it'll turn up and I can show you guys the map. What? Yes, no. There we go. So it's kind of north of the tower. Um, on this rock here. Someone's left a message for us. The whole dog. It's not a dog, it's turtle. Um, and now we can go upstairs and grab ourselves the memory slot, which is actually kind of useful to me. I need it right now. I could spend 3,000 3, runes getting another one, but with the amount we get given, there's just no need for us to do that. Uh, we'll skip to the top so you can just see me collecting it. You, don't, you guys don't need to see me climb a ladder. One extra memory stone. And then we can fast travel back to Sorcerer's Isle. So next up then, we're going to be heading pretty much straight south. To the, uh... Cabin Crystal Tunnel, I believe it's called, something like this. There's probably an upgrade stone on that tower. It's a bit dangerous. <laughs> yeah, she's like, ah, come on, let's get it. Let's get it. They'll either kill me or they won't. Yeah, I knew it. We don't do nothing to you. Don't do nothing to us. Yes. This is good deal. Look at that now, I'm like, I haven't actually checked in between all of those different runs. There could be any number of loot over there that I don't know about. Um, so, we're almost there. So you don't need to worry about using this key, like, as long as you have a key to start with, um, you're going to get a key back, so we don't go down one for doing this area. Which is good. We're getting a little bit linked in the episode now, which is which is crazy. But the other good thing this is gonna do for you for us is give us a sight of grace close to the dragon. I suppose kind of the other side of the river is also close to the dragon. This is closer to the dragon, so I feel like that's an advantage. The dragon is literally sat there. So, just bear that in mind. The cool thing is there's lots of these blue bugs floating out in the swamp. So when you're fighting him, um, you basically don't have to worry about magic. So we're going to get a first taste as to um, what's going to be like inside of uh, Lucario down here, because we're going to face some of the enemies, and we'll see why we're going to want some magic defense very shortly. Um, although these ones I don't think were as aggressive. I was fighting before. Look at that boy. I guess you're. I guess you're food for the money. So I guess I think. I mean, it's supposed to end up wasting points, but I might take my dex to 20. Because if we're going to get to 18, uh, two more points is basically going to shave a frame or two off of your uh, cast speed, which isn't like the end of the world levels of faster. 
But when like those little milliseconds count, it, it, it'll it'll make the difference more often than you realise. Much like when you can put that extra point to health and then something just about doesn't kill you. It's the same it's the same kinda kinda deal. So we've got to be careful of these. These are quite nasty. We're going to be facing off quite, against quite a lot of these um, over the course of the next few areas. I do a lot of damage. Okay. We've got to be careful. Real careful. Real careful. Oh my god. Uh, these are technically nice ones. <laughs> Hate to say. These ones aren't even using like the machine gun style uh, repeat casts of a lot of stuff they can do. Just disgusting. Um, this is where the rapier comes in nice because of the crit damage. You can get the back stamps on them. Um, one on its own isn't so bad. It's when there's more than one. Whenever there's more than one, they're just nasty. Um, their heads don't drop from them, by the way. Yeah, they're all individual drops. Um, we'll get a few of them as we go through the, the next areas. Hello. You've already aggroed. What should have? At least they're easy to stagger. Damn it. So close to, uh, to finishing them. Okay. <laughs> These are just nightmarish. For me, didn't you? Don't even give that much, do they? Here's where our stone key is going to be returning to us. Old stone key. <laughs> You've got to try it though, haven't you? Obviously, I think. One of these. Ooh. I don't see any of these in here. Oh my god, stop it. It's that master caster guy. He just does not care, do you? I should have used my physic. In fact, I'm going to get there. Oh, another dude there. Let's be careful. The loot. Loot is everywhere. Crystal staff. Knock. <laughs> He's gone off to the way. Didn't see where you'd moved to there, sir. You do more damage now, there's something there. As if you can put my thing on the corner. Come on, let's get in here. Club boy. I don't know why I can't target you properly. Oh my god. Right, let's get back to there. Okay, so we are currently stealthing back in. Oh, he's found me there. Let's go ahead and grab. Grab our rooms. And do you know what? Being as we are fresh, let's go and grab, and grab the boss. And got the tower of that guy.
Same rules apply as the last time here. Uh, realistically speaking, we want to try and target one down. Uh, this time we have spells on our side. Um, the moves are really annoying, particularly this triple um, spear thing that can get stuck on. Come on, just need to get your thing cracked. Um, I really should have switched to Meteorite for this, as that would crack the uh, crystal way easier. Didn't take a physic. It's kind of Let's just take a bit of room here. We've got plenty of space, so. Though my guy's nearly dead, that's not good. Come on. It's just not. There we go, right. Let's get you dealt with quickly. Sun's down, I'm going to get the dark fast. There we go. Did you get cracked? No, you didn't. Okay, that's a shame. Taking a lot of damage, so it hasn't been cracked. Come on. Get rid of that. Well, that wasn't the attack I thought it was going to be. <laughs> there we go. Let's get in there. Thank you, sirs. Thank you. Crystal release. <laughs> Plus a lift. Okay, then. So, let's get the lift. Now, Ash didn't find this lift when I was doing the stream. I just didn't notice there was another door in here. So, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> to see what it does. I wonder if this is like a secret way into the academy. And hopefully it doesn't upset any quests. Because it could. <laughs> it shouldn't do. Where are we? So we are in the academy. Where in the academy are we? I mean, this could be a good skip to skip a load of bullcrap that's right at the bottom. No, it's just a specific piece of loot, it would seem. Terra Magicus. Mm. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I noticed that. Something needs to come and get on my stream. Okay, let's head to the bottom. Okay, and so being as we have cleared cleared this, we're just going to make our way out and use the runes we just got. Probably on a point of dexterity. Crazily enough. Now the wiki is showing that there's a point of grace here, which I don't remember seeing. Let's go and take a look. This would be handy, of course. And there is. Look at that. Cool. So that episode ended up going a little bit longer than I thought, just because uh, there was an extra bit there that I didn't remember or see should I say but either way we are good um that's gonna round up this episode and in the next one we should probably take on the dragon there's like I want the moon veil 
we are five levels from being able to use it, being able to use it. So we have got some time before that happens. Either way, guys, I will catch up with you guys in the next episode.